Hello everyone, the structure. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you where you can buy or I guess claim my ship because I heard a lot of people say that they really do like my Sentinel ship. It is based off of the Matrix Sentinel drones and I really like it. A lot of people like it too. So I'm going to show you where you can go ahead and claim a free version. This comes from a Reddit user. I'll put their image and their username on the screen. Credit all goes to them. And without further ado, let's just jump in. So this is the starship in question that everyone really wants as far as I'm concerned that the people who watch my YouTube videos, a lot of people say that they really like the Sentinel ship and I'm going to teach you guys how to get it like I said previously. Now I the reason why I'm uh, not going to it right now is because I wanted to let you guys know that this ship is obtainable in Ice and Tam. One has not been found in Euclid or any other galaxy. This is an Isentam. This is the 10th galaxy in the game. So if you really want to go ahead and get this ship, you need to go ahead and travel up to the galaxy 10 where that is Isentam. And that way you'll be able to go ahead and claim this ship. So without further ado, let's go ahead, let's go to a portal, and let's get this ship. All right, so we are here at the portal. If you don't know how to locate a portal, I'll make a guide on this sometime soon. So that way, you know, there's everyone's caught up on how to do this stuff. So... Without further ado, we're just going to go ahead and we're going to activate the portal. So what you're going to want to type in is, you're going to want to type in this Diploglyph, this Star Over Water, Triforce, Singularity, Star Over Water. You're going to want to hit the Scarab as well, the Triforce, the Freighter, the Starship, the Star Over Water again. You're going to want to hit the crescent moon and you're going to want to hit this dome like structure. I really don't know what you would call it. There is a name for it. I just don't know it. And there you go. That's the address. So if you wanted to pause, okay, make sure you get that address in if you want to get this. So I'll see you there. And once you arrive, the planet should look like this. There's plenty of com balls everywhere. So you will know that you're in the right spot. And yeah, this is pretty much what it looks like. Also, that nebula is very beautiful. By the way, disable your multiplayer because you don't want people grabbing this ship. So that way, if you do go into multiplayer, which I run a VPN, so I can't really get a consistent server. You still want to disable this anyway because you really don't want your ship getting stolen. You probably should just disable it as a safe keep. All right, now let's go. All right, well... I'm not able to find an S-Class, so apparently nobody has found an S-Class. I thought the one that I... Okay, yeah, I get it. I thought the one that I got was an S-Class, but apparently not. The one I got was a B-Class, and then I upgraded it to S-Class. So the best one that I found is this A-Class one. It, uh, yes, it's not an S-Class, but you can upgrade it for 50,000 nanites, and here is where you need to go. If you come here you can go ahead and claim my ship. Granted, it is an S-Class, or it's an A-Class. Sorry, it's not an S-Class. It's an A-Class. But you can upgrade it to an S-Class via the space station. You can go ahead and do that, or you can come to this planet and find an S-Class yourself, which I'm assuming is going to be pretty hard because it's going to take a while. So this is my ship. If you want to go ahead and grab it, this is the place to get it, and hopefully you enjoy it. I'm sorry I couldn't provide an S-Class, but apparently nobody has found an S-Class, so an A-Class will do. All you have to do is just upgrade it to one more tier, and boom, it'll be an S-Class. And if you wanted to know what the supercharged slots look like, it's not the best, I'm going to be honest, but maybe there might be some B-Classes that might have better versions. Your luck may vary, but if you want the highest class that is available right now that people have found, the A class is going to be the only one that provides you the highest class. Otherwise, you could find an S class on the planet, but I highly doubt you will. So I would just say upgrade it. But this is the supercharged slots and they're not particularly great, but you could go ahead and get it. Anyway, that's good to do it for this video. If you enjoyed it and you really like my ship, make sure to like, subscribe, and hit that bell for more No Man's Sky content to protect and serve.